Uh, let me tell you something that, of course, we have uh, lined up for you this beautiful show. We have, of course, some things we, we shall be telling you later on the show, uh, some lovely guests as well. But, of course, some of the stories we have for you tonight, um, one of them is clearly this. Uh, most of you, of course, know it already. Watu anajikuna kisogo. Ni kujikuna kujikuna. Watu, yani, huyu atapata, alikuwa na chekelea kipara ya nani? Ya mze, sasa atajua where kipara comes from. Mm. Ni kubaya, ni kunoma, ni kulonzero, ni kudiambo. <laughs> That's how things, of course, are in, uh, of course, at the Old Trafford. It's become the theater of problems. Shida tupu sana. And of course, uh, that's of course one of the many uh, in Afar Tukwe Tunafanya. We will also be telling you something about Dele Ali. Now, Dele Ali, uh, I'll tell you this. I'm just giving you a snip. Now, Dele, Dele Ali took a dog for a walk. So, they mako home, wana chukwa dogi yako for a walk. So, wana chukwa dogi for a walk. Na demi yako ako home. Ama mulikuwa mwenda kufanya nina dogi. I'll tell you that in a bit. And of course, I have a lovely guest uh, across from, of course, from Kisumu to Nairobi to Machakos uh, across this country. They'll be joining us via Zoom. But also in studio, Nikona Rafkiangu Mzuri Sana, a very close friend of mine. I call him Senior. He calls me Senior. And he's a James Situma. He's a Kenyan international. Uh, he's the president of Kenya Footballers Welfare Association, KEFWA. And of course, you've seen them on uh, social media platforms. They have been assisting uh, many footballers get to get to do investments. They've been giving them ideas to do. Wame apatini scholarships. Yani kefwa imea muka. Thanks to my good friend James Setuma. I got a beautiful story by the way. Now, we want you to call us. Laini zetu by the way zimefunguka zikafunguka. Pia SMS yetu. Zimbo na mtumi yangi SMS. Kwa ni muna ugopa kuntumi SMS. Ama mulisikia sina credit ya kurisive SMS zenyu. SMS yetu of course mwajua ni triple one, triple four, triple one. Now, this is a question we're asking you. It's a simple question. I told you on this show, you watch, answer a question, and you stand a chance of winning yourself. Yani ku watch too. That's how of course how we do it. And our question is very, very, very simple. As you can see on your screen. Eh? What was your best or worst football moment? over the weekend you can see our numbers you, the calling number is 0709621100 start calling now and of course give us your opinion as to what was your best or worst moment me i know what was my best and my worst moment i'll speak on behalf of manu and on behalf of course of liverpool uh definitely that's how we do it you've seen of course as well our our sms line you've seen our, our hash, our handle at Switch TV Kenya. That's, of course, where we have in this conversation. Remember, our hashtag is Sports Centre. Cheza kama wewe, kawaida. Niko nazo hapa hivi. Too many, as many times as you can. But, of course, uh, I'll have to give out my shout-out to my very good... Lacha ni tumane shout-out. Hini nimesikia ti mekuja saa. Hini mesoma hapa SMS. Uyu ni mwalima likuwa na nifunza drama. This energy, this, this, this skill of telling stories, just looking at a camera and communicating with the... I nilipata from one Tsuma. Uh, there is a drama teacher. Right now, is an education officer in Eldore to a sing issue. Tsuma, thank you so much. Tsuma, salimia tuto wako. Na uambia yes na kujua. Ha! Salamu za waluya. Now... Uh, tuanze hivi na hivi, yes. This is a Manchester United fan. Watu wa manu, muna kumbuka last time out, tukipigwa, tukipigwa na Bayern Munich, muli tuchekelea. Tukipigwa na Arsenal kwa FA Cup na Anthony Taylor akitukalia. Muka tuchekelea. Hivi, ndiyo muko, na hivi ndiyo muna ka. <laughs> Machos! I mean, I mean, I Machos ni learned it from some pictures while ni share a bit ago. Now, Talking about Machos, yes, uh, there is a, a police officer who just makes things look very sweet, especially at this time when Manu are suffering. And this is how my very good friend Oleguna is speaking in the dressing room at Old Trafford. That's the correct video. <laughs> Hiyo, hiyo nunataka kusikia watu wakisebe kibe umu. Sema kime umana! Kime umana! Sema kime umana! Kime umana! Munu wa BF kawa tuwa maniwa hapa. Of course, that's how things are. Ed Woodward has, if you know your CEO, maniwa alikuwa tuna problems by the way. Sana, sana, mingi sana. That's how things are. Kime umana, for sure. Now stick around, of course, later on. Um, 
I'll be, I'll be talking to a, a doctor about uh, Eli Kipchoge. But before that, eh, uh, Director Nambi. Now, uh, there's a guy who is a staunch diehard, has been a player, Amichezea Manu, and it was Patrice Evra. Now, I've never seen Patrice Evra shed a tear. Niliona machos. Yeah, you can imagine. Um, oh, at the end of that clip, Patrice Evra and Sema, yani, um, anataka kupiga watu maslaps. Sijina nanda kupiga maslaps. Ina saunika nanda kupiga watu maspank. Jusa utapigaje maguaya slap. Now, um, you can imagine, Manu are not out of the woods yet. Take a look at the fixtures. The next fixture, the next nearest. Of course, we're going for an international break. But angalia tu manu venye. Yani, angalia tu venye kinenda kumana. Wakona PSG. Wakona Chelsea. Wakona RB Leipzig. Wakona team inito Arsenal. Wakona uh, Istanbul Bashakir. Alafu wakona Everton. Yenye na lead tables ai. Na, na insista hapo kwa Arsenal. Timu gani kali kati ya manu na Arsenal? <laughs> manu mkona shida. Man, you have problems. Man, you foot any coach. <laughs> this, of course, is Sports Central. If you're joining us, hashtag is Sports Central. Remember, you can call us. We know that Pigia Simo by the way, 0709 621 100. That's our line. You can call us. Now, to Jibu Swaliako, and you just never know if you might win yourself lovely merchandise. And also, uh, our SMS line is 111 444 Send as many, many times as you wish. Now, still with Manchester United, let me dedicate this show to Manchester United. Now, there is a guy uh, after after watching, yani there is a politician in South Africa, and Julius Malema. After watching the thrashing of Liverpool and Manu, he just had to, I mean, release this uh, press conference to, I mean, to declare exactly what he he expects in the future from Manu and Liverpool. These things of scores, the must agree. You can score up to what? <laughs> because it, it's not right, those things they are doing of going to six, seven. It's an, it's an unacceptable thing which we, we need to regulate so that the integrity of the club man is not wiped away uh, on that day. That was my best moment, seeing Manu being clobbered at their home theater of dreams. Mabao, one, two, in the TV, Serrano seat, annually, pigwa, kupigbu, Manu, ongeeni kabisa. Now, uh, let me bring in, of course, this story about uh, my very good friend, personal friend, Eliud Kipchoge, the world uh, marathon record holder. Uh, this is a statement he released, of course, on, um, he, um, he said after 25 kilometers, my ear blocked and it couldn't open anymore. But this is how sport is. We should accept defeat and focus for the winning. Mark the words, my ear blocked. Uh, most of you are thinking I was mocking uh, Eliud Kipchoge and I asked for a number for an ear specialist. And uh, today we have an ear specialist because, he, um, I mean, kudos to this guy. You can imagine running, one ear is blocked for about another 25 kilometers. As in, that is, as in, I don't know how to, that's just someone who is extraordinary. And of course, congratulations to Eliud Kipchoge, your entire team. Uh, uh, of course, we appreciate uh, what you always do for this country. We will always support you. Still, King Choge. Now, in relation to about this issue about blocking ear. So today we have an ear, a nose and throat specialist. And you can come out, Dr. Peter Ochungo. Dr. Peter Ochungo, of course, joined us live uh, from here in Nairobi. Uh, he, he works for the Hope, uh, Hope uh, ENT uh, clinic. If ENT, in short form, many uh, ear, uh, nose, and throat specialists. But Taka uh, Kujua, exactly uh, what uh, this ear uh, did. Karibu uh, sana, Dr. Peter. It's a pleasure to see you. Asante sana for making time on Sports Center. Thank you so much for accepting to be with us. Let me just get into it quickly. Um, I'm sure you've heard about Eliud Kipchoge's uh, uh, claims that uh, his ear blocked completely for about half of the race in the marathon. C can, you, can you take us through exactly what could have happened to that point until he, I mean, his, pro, I mean, his physicality just disappeared? Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Tony, and thank you for the opportunity. Uh, good evening. Uh, Yes, uh, our hero uh, must have suffered uh, uh, ear blockage. Uh, this is common in some athletes. And uh, what really happens is, uh, as, as the athlete continues running, his glucose levels really go down. 
but then his adrenaline, his epinephrine levels go up. And what adrenaline sometimes does is that it dilates uh, the tube that leads to your ear from your throat. And when it dilates, it is just open. And so as he's breathing in and out, part of the air is actually going to his middle ear and totally blocking him out. And he's not able to, he actually gets uh, what we call eustachian tube dysfunction. So this is really the uh, full total blockage of the middle ear. Yes. And it affects, really gives him one of the biggest effects is that it gives him a balance problem. He actually feels dizzy and he feels like he's about to fall. So he needs to steady himself. And so you see his, his time, his lap times reduce because he needs to steady himself. He's feeling dizzy. Uh, he's also having some ear pain. He's also having decreased hearing. So maybe his coach is shouting something at him, an instruction. He can't actually hear that. And he's also feeling sounds in the ear, some muffled sound. He's feeling some hissing sound. All that is very distracting. It's not very serious, but it's distracting to him. Thank you, Daksari. Uh, is this problem common? And how often does it happen? Because now uh, most sports people, I I'm even getting worried. I jog a lot, Daksari. And I can imagine my ear blocking, uh, and of course I don't have that stamina to withhold the balance and stuff. I mean, is it common? H I mean, how can how should you handle it if you're an amateur? Because Eliud handled it very professionally. Thank you, Tony. Uh, not very common. Maybe one in twenty joggers, athletes, uh, professional athletes, actually have this problem. And their main concern, they say, is I ran and on the tenth mile or the fifteenth kilometer, I suddenly felt my ear block. And once it blocked, it was not, it, it was inconveniencing to my run. It slowed down my run. And so it's about maybe 5% of athletes, about one in 20. And uh, most of it really goes out on its own. When you stop the jogging, within 30 to minutes, one hour, it stops uh, on its own. But also uh, some athletes have actually developed methods of sort of closing up that uh, eustachian tube, the tube that is leading to your throat. Some actually have say, have sworn by looking in the air and yawning or looking in the air and swallowing. And that sort of closes the tube and uh, allows what is already in the tube to be absorbed without getting in. Uh, one, I know one athlete who once told me that he, 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 he basically bent his head below the waist. He uh -huh. stopped, bent his head below the waist. Yes. And that caused a lot of rush of blood to the head and plus the tube. Uh -huh. They turned it back to its normal size. Yes. And he actually got better and started running and it didn't come back again. Uh, so if, if, doctor, if someone has, uh, should, how often can we visit you in your clinic just to check our ears? Because, you know, you just never know when this thing might pop up. So it's important to come to your clinic at Hope to check these things. How often? Or should we, or should we just continue bending below the waist? <laughs> yes. Not at all, uh, Tony, because it's, it's actually a physiological problem, meaning it, it happens when you are in strenuous exercise, when you're really breathing in and out. And actually, one of the real uh, uh, treatments in when you're running, because you're running a marathon, you can't stop. And then when you, you can do breathing, you can pace your breathing very well. Don't inhale and stop exhaling. When you inhale then the, and you don't exhale, then the air has to look for a place to go and your mouth is closed. Uh, so you need to inhale and exhale in a very rhythmical pattern. Maybe if our champion did so, then... All right. The ear may not have blocked, but in terms of uh, visits to the clinic, if it persists, if, if you see it coming regularly yes. and giving you uh, what we call cardinal signals, signals yes. that are a bit distressed, like dizziness, yes. uh, sounds in the ear yes. or pain in the ear, then you need to visit us yes. so that we, we sort of, uh, we have machines that look at the state of your middle ear yes. and we are then able to sort of prescribe, prescribe just what we call decongestant medication, some nose sprays. Uh, and also some maneuvers that then equalize the middle ear to the external environment. Daktari, where are you situated? Because I need to come and see you. Because Daktari, I normally have a problem uh, when, of course, when I'm flying and, the, of course, the plane now starts taking off, there's that blockage in the ear. Of course, when you're sometimes swimming and water gets into your ears and stuff, uh, where can we visit you? Where can we get you? Where can athletes access you? Sure. Uh, we are in, uh, in a place called Magaribi Place, which is opposite Tusky's Timor. Uh, hope ear, nose, and throat center. I'm sure if they googled it, they would find it. Uh, yes, we also do. We do. We will see a lot of pilots, Wilson Airport, JKIN, and sometimes we prescribe ear mufflers, uh, ear equalizers, and that is able actually to 
to sort of reduce their problems with the middle ear. So we are just at Hope ENT Clinic, Magaribi Place, one C9. Hope ear and nose and clean uh, throat clinic. No. That's of course next to Timol. You said at Timol, yes. yes, and also at the JKIA as well. Right. Asante sana, Dr. Peter Uchungo. Thank you. It's a pleasure. At least now you've uh, shed some light on this issue about the e blocked ear on El Kipchoge. Uh, of course, we'll be having this discussion in future as well. Asante for making time, Dr. Have a lovely evening. Uh, so, of course, that is uh, Dr. Thank you so much, Tony. Karibu, so karibu, much. karibu sana, Dr. Asante. Uh, that's also Dr. Peter Uchungo, uh, who, who is an ENT, that is ear, nose, and throat specialist uh, for Hope Clinic. Ik of course at um uh uh apo karibu team or lapo you vote askis kawana ijua and other at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, so zikopale. Now you know. These things are serious and you saw it affected our our champion and really affect uh record yake. This of course is sports center. We give you things that matter to you. The Ojo Sisema at your nini. Remember a question we're asking you, which was your best or worst football moment over the weekend? To make to pigia simu, to make to tweet, hashtag ni sports centre. We are live, of course, we are streaming live as well on our social media platforms. My name, of course, is Tony Kolanda. Let me see you in a bit with more guests. Don't go away.